With Shoot Pro, which you get by upgrading within the Shoot app, you can use your phone's microphone um, on your streams. And I will show you how to do that right now by pulling in my... It's a phone on a stick. You may notice I am wearing headphones, that's because you've got to be careful of feedback when you're doing this. Um, so if you do want to monitor the audio, don't do it in a way that the phone microphone is going to pick up what's... Don't do it in a way that the phone microphone is going to pick up what, what's happening because otherwise you're going to get a really nasty feedback. So uh, here's the phone, but if we just uh, enable a bit of a picture in picture, let's pretend if I tap on the screen, See, there's a little microphone icon there. If we just tap that, that's now coming, that's being sent from the phone. If I just also show you the audio settings in Ecamm, you can see uh, that's my phone. And if we mute me, unmute me, and now this is the audio coming from the phone. So obviously the advantage of this is you can move around a bit more freely. So instead of being sort of um, at the whims of my USB mic, we can you know, go into another room and maybe um, like flip the camera and I can sort of show you what else I've got going on. Um, so that obviously gives you a bit more freedom. Um, I'm always trying to make eye contact with the uh, thing, but there's actually like when you're out and about, we actually do have this um, natural framing mode to just make it feel a bit more sort of natural when you're uh, looking, when you're sort of framing yourself. Also, like, just be careful with your cables. I'm actually, I, I kind of failed to get a USB hub to kind of give me a consistent connection. And so using like non-Apple cables isn't great. But this sort of USB extension cable, USB-C extension seems to be working okay. The other thing is um, Ecamm lets you connect this over a USB cable, but if also if you're using an HDMI adapter, and like an RTEM, then it'll be it'll work quite smoothly as well. Uh, but let's come back here and, and try some other stuff. And something else um, that it, you need to know is obviously uh, the, the the microphone only shows up when there's a supported connection. So it basically listens out for either an HDMI connection, which doesn't seem to be exposed as a as a microphone connection in OBS, whereas Ecamm Live. Um, affiliate link in the, in the description um, does like connect properly and then can receive the audio. And then the other conditions are if it's an HDMI cable adapter, then it will show up. But um, it also works over AirPlay. So if I were to come down and connect over Air Server, so now I'm on. This is an Air Server connection. Um, we can. I'll show you. Look, here's the, here's the Air Server window. Oh my God! Look at that. Uh, that's scary. Um, we're, we're coming wirelessly now, but I've turned on the microphone on the app. It's sending it wirelessly to Air Server. Air Server is sending video to Siphon, which is what lets you select it um, down here. See, and the audio from Air Server is being relayed via the system audio and then being picked up here. Yeah, as long as you've got your system audio going to Ecamm and Ecamm not monitoring, because otherwise you're going to get feedback, then that's going to work pretty well. And sorry that the audio has all been on the phone mic while I've been talking, but it was, like, yeah, I'm trying to demonstrate the phone mic. I don't love the iPhone microphone, but like the, the thing with this now is you can plug in whatever audio hardware. So a much better microphone if you want and have a lav mic. Not, it doesn't just have to be the phone mic. So now we've actually got like, now we've actually got like the ability to, to roam freely. So I can come in here, we can see what's going on in here. We can uh, see like what's all this. We can kind of come around. I don't know what the range is on this. Maybe we lose signal at some point. We can uh, kind of see what's going on down there. See my bike. And that's that's all you have to do really in Ecamm. Just uh, turn it on on the phone and um, like activate it in in Ecamm. Um, so there we go. Hope that helps.